Hi, welcome back. We're setting up Centrify Identity Service as an identity provider for ServiceNow. And uh, uh, in the previous video, we set up a certificate uh, that we downloaded from the Centrify app directly. Uh, it's basically a code sign and certificate that we can use for uh, the assertion encryption and all that nice stuff, right? So um, now we are ready to set up an identity provider, right? So I, oh, I go to multi provider SSO, click on identity providers. And this is going to be uh, an exercise on copy paste, right? It all starts with your in, uh, service now instance. Notice that I'm using a developer instance, so I'm going to go, go ahead and copy, and I'm going to paste the developer instance name here on the Centrify side, right? Uh, now I'm going to copy the identity provider URL. So I'm going to copy the whole thing here, just copy, and I am ready to start uh, setting up my identity provider. What you'll see is that we're going to be copying a lot of things back and forth. So a new identity provider. And this is SAML2 update one. And now all we need to do is fill up the form here. So the first thing is uh, the name of the identity provider. We're not going to be providing any identity metadata, so I want to cancel this out. So the name in my case is, right, so uh, I gave it this name. My username field, this is very important. And this is because I am actually uh, uh, using uh, the username field from the source directory. So uh, this is going to be a very important uh, part of your uh, design. So the identity provider URL is the same identity provider URL from this template over here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Uh, the identity provider authentication request is uh, basically right here. So I can go ahead and copy it all the way to the end. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. I also happen to know that this is going to be the same thing for the failed requirement redirect. The logout page. And when you do the logout page, you know that once you log out of ServiceNow, it will log you out of all Centrify, right? Um, over here, all I need to do is uh, copy paste my instance name. So where it says my instance, I'm going to paste the, the code of my instance. Same over here. Same over here. Right? So um, other, than that, uh, other than this is going to be my single sign-on script. So mine is going to be SAML update 1. And uh, I believe that's it. So all I need to do now is submit this. Once I submit it, I can go back to the record. And edit. Because now I have to select what is going to be the certificate to be used. So in here, all I need to do is press edit to select the X509 certificate. So this is loading the list of certificates. Here's my the certificate I created in the previous video. I'm going to press save. And the very last step is going to be to go to properties under administration here for the identity providers. And I want to enable the multi provider SSO and press save. Notice that that username field is here. Right? So uh, in the next video, we're going to test uh, to make sure that Federation is working. Notice that Federation is very different from provisioning. Right, so we're making an assumption that users already exist on the target system and that we're matching them. So in the next video, we'll create a test user and then we'll test if our federation is working as expected.